I'm the Higgler, Vale Amaya. I'm Sam from Vale Amaya, play drums. I play right. bass. Cool. Um, now, are you wearing a Mickey hat? I, I am wearing a Mickey's hat, Fine Malt Liquor, one of the best in the States, you know. Um, I got wind that you're looking uh, for, for, for some kind of endorsement. I'd love one. I, like, I can't complain with that. I mean, free Mickey's on the road, what more could I ask for? How did you come to like this malt liquor's brand? Well, it's fairly priced, you know, tastes good, gets pretty drunk, so what more could you ask for? That's solid. What's your opinion on other malt liquors in the market? Uh, it all depends on what kind. I mean, there's, of course, there's shitty malt liquor and there's good malt liquor. I mean, Old English, that's pretty good. St. Ides, it's not bad. Actually, you know, I'll drink whatever. I just, I'm a fan of Mickey's. Plus, they got the sweet little uh, word diagrams under the cap, so when you get nice and drunk, you can't figure them out, you know. This makes the party fun. A Malevolent Creation shirt over here. It's not a shirt you often see. Uh, it's one of the more underrated death metal bands from the old days. Uh, we actually we went on tour with them on the Death by Decibels tour. And got to hang out, party. What was it like partying with uh, with Phil and Levelin? It was awesome. Amazing. Phil's the man. He is amazing. Go on the bus before they play and stuff, get to watch them. You know, nothing like watching sweet metal bands when you're nice and drunk, right? What what albums uh, do you prefer? Um, Venom is my favorite one. That one's sweet. As a drummer, of course, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Dave Paul Ross is the man. Now, um, what stage in the career, in your career, is, is Veil of Maya at this point? Our stage right now, uh, well, our CD just came out a couple weeks ago, so, I mean, it's, I guess you could, like, we've been touring around for the last few years, but now it's starting to kind of take its way to, you know, a new level. So, I guess we're up and coming stage, I guess you could say, hopefully. Um, what went into the making of that album? The making of our album, well, you know, sit around, smoke a lot of weed, drink some beers, and just kind of jam, see where it goes. And I guess that's kind of how Mark, our guitarist writes most of the stuff, like pretty much all of it. And, uh, you know, we'll tell him if we don't like something, and you know, that's how you know, it kind of just rolls that way. Some good dating advice. Dating advice. Dating advice from Bill of Maya. Yeah, talk to. You. Dating advice from me. Here's what I have to say. Give me some whiskey, a lot of it, and just let the night go from there. That's all I have to say because I have no game at all. So, girls want to, I don't know. That's all I have to say is whiskey. Well, what uh, What kind of advice would you have for, for the, uh, the ladies? We're all single. <laughs> and uh, we love it. We love action, so Brandon is our singer's not single, not single but the rest of us are. And uh, we don't get any game on the road, so you know whatever wants to come our way, we'll like to have. You know, that's solid. Hell yeah, you know, I'll come on, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. All. Yes, I like that. I like that. Come on, all. Yeah. That, that's that's uh, hopefully on the agenda for tonight. You know, we've been here once before, and you know, I hear a lot of good things about tonight. What's going to happen afterwards? I hear there's a sweet bar with a ladies' night, dollar beers. So, we'll see, if we can make something happen tonight. Yeah, perhaps we'll have a little uh, after party and uh, get some ladies and some booze. You know, sounds good to me. I guess. Hopefully, it sounds good to them too. <laughs> uh, do you mind letting your hair down for a moment? Because I mean, there's no point having so much hair. Not. I'd love to. That's. What a sight, what a sight right there. This is for all the ladies to, uh, to see in the upcoming cities. How come more guys in the scene don't have long hair? That's a hell of a question, you know. I don't think they can handle it. I mean, it's not that much work to care, take care of these, you know, manly locks, but, you know, some people, they can't really, uh, they can't hang. That's all I'll say, they can't hang with it. I see those uh, whose hair hangs low, something else will hang low as well. Would you say there's a correlation there? Yeah, definitely. The, long, the lower the hair hangs, you know, the longer the, uh, 
main member hangs. Solid. Yeah. Now, the drummer? Yeah. Quick hands, quick feet. How your dexterity, your endurance behind the kit affects your your sexual life. Uh, how does it help you? Um, it doesn't. I don't have much of a sexual life, to be quite honest. So, yeah. I find that hard to believe. It's true. My life Very true. is pretty much uh, just drums and weed. That's about it. Might I say, though, Canada has probably the finest women I've seen I so agree. far in my uh, career in music. I mean, we go out to California every now and then, uh, in Canada, tops the cake. You have no bad looking women. It's uh, some wise words. Wise words from a wise man, I guess you could say, right? Yes, sir. So, hopefully we'll get a taste of that later on after the show. I hopefully get a platter of it tonight, you know. I, I'm always down for a fiesta, right? How would you, <laughs> how would you, um, treat this, this fiesta if it came your way? Like a million bucks. I'd, uh, I'd blast long, you know, I'd give her the time of her life. All of them, if, you know, more than one came. Well, they will come, exactly, you know, but, you know, I'll please, I'm, you know, that's the name of the game, you know, I'm there to please. I guess I learned from your mistakes and stuff like that. You know, I haven't learned much yet, but hopefully someday I'll be, uh, be a little more wise in the game, you know. I'm, I'm just trying to work my way up, you know. You know, you got to start somewhere. An honest, humble, humble man. Yeah. What else can you be in this life, you know? I mean, you can't be an asshole because nobody wants to talk to you. You can't be too nice because, you know, everybody thinks you're a douchebag then, you know? Like, oh, he's just trying to be on the good side, you know? Just got to got to be right in the middle there, you know? Right in the... Yeah. Uh, right in the middle. In the groove. In the groove. There you go, in the groove. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Any bands or people you want to quickly give a little plug to before we wrap? Definitely with Dead Hands Rising, our brothers from the Midwest. Everybody on Sick. this tour. Yeah. Everybody on this tour is awesome. This would be happier to be on. Yeah, it's a hell of a tour to be on. And the Higgler, I love these Canadian women. You know, I'm here for a couple more days. Come find me.